Amber Rose recently clarified her controversial comments, explaining that her accusation against Beyonce for allegedly stealing her speech from the Republican National Convention was nothing more than a joke. Speaking with TMZ, Rose emphasized that her remarks were intended purely in jest and had no serious implications behind them. I was literally trolling, she told reporters, describing how she often jokes with her friends in the same playful way. According to Rose, the comment was something she tossed out casually, never expecting it to make waves, let alone grab international headlines. I troll with my friends all the time. I didn't think anyone would actually take it seriously, she explained, laughing off the unexpected attention her remarks had garnered. Rose further shared that she holds nothing but admiration for Beyonce and never intended to undermine her. I love Beyonce. I know Beyonce, she continued, reflecting on her experiences hanging out with the iconic singer on multiple occasions. We've hung out a few times, and I've always respected her. I was low-key trolling and didn't mean for it to blow up like this. Attempting to set the record straight, Rose reiterated that her comment was made in the spirit of humor. It was literally just a joke, she added, hoping to reassure Beyonce fans and anyone else who might have taken her words out of context. For Amber, the situation highlighted how even the most innocent joke can get twisted in the age of social media, where playful remarks can quickly spiral into viral news. She admitted that the whole experience served as a reminder to be more cautious, especially when dealing with high-profile figures like Beyonce. In a powerful moment on Friday, Queen Bey took the stage at a campaign rally in Houston, publicly endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris in what became one of the standout speeches of the event. Addressing the crowd, Beyonce shared a heartfelt message, positioning herself not just as a global icon, but as a concerned citizen and mother. I'm not here as a celebrity and I'm not here as a politician, she told the crowd, her voice steady and resolute. I'm here as a mother, a mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. She went on to express her hopes for a society where individuals have the freedom to control their own bodies and live without division, envisioning a future where unity and understanding prevail. However, shortly after Beyonce's impactful address, Amber Rose turned to social media to stir up some unexpected controversy. The mother of two posted an eyebrow-raising message accusing Beyonce of stealing her speech from the Republican National Convention. Rose's post read, she wanna be me so bad, literally took my whole speech. The comment quickly gained traction, surprising fans who wondered if Amber was serious or simply trolling the internet. While the claim raised eyebrows, Rose later clarified to TMZ that her comment was meant as a playful jab and not intended to be taken seriously. She explained that she often jokes in this way with friends and had no idea her post would attract so much attention. I was literally trolling, she admitted laughing off the idea that her lighthearted comment could be seen as anything other than a joke. Fans of both Beyonce and Amber Rose have since weighed in, with some finding humor in Rose's bold remark, while others questioned whether it was appropriate to cast shade during such a politically charged time. Beyonce's fans in particular were quick to defend the singer, highlighting that her Houston speech was deeply personal and a reflection of her genuine concern for the future, especially for her children. For Beyonce, the rally was a chance to amplify her voice in support of a cause close to her heart, a move that showcased her dedication to using her platform for positive social impact. Amber's comment, though not meant to be taken seriously, became a viral talking point, further proof of how easily social media can turn a single post into a headline. For her part, Amber seems to have taken the unexpected attention in stride doubling down on her explanation and reiterating that she harbors nothing but respect for Beyonce. Nonetheless, the playful jab reminds us how even a lighthearted post can become an internet sensation, especially when it involves two well-known personalities. In the end, Beyonce's message of unity, freedom, and hope shines through, undeterred by the noise on social media. Her appearance at the rally has left a lasting impression as she continues to champion a world that's better for the next generation. Amber Rose recently stirred up social media with a surprising accusation against Beyonce, claiming that the superstar had copied her Republican National Convention, RNC speech, during a recent appearance. This claim sparked a flurry of reactions online, with fans and followers eager to weigh in on the perceived similarities. In response, videos comparing both speeches began circulating online, showing each woman's words side by side, with some viewers noting common themes between the two. 
In her speech endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris, Beyonce spoke passionately to a crowd in Houston, taking on the role of not just a performer, but a concerned mother and citizen. Imagine our daughters growing up seeing what's possible with no ceilings, no limitations. Beyonce declared, calling for action and encouraging people to vote for a future of greater opportunity. We must vote and we need you, she added, underscoring her commitment to the next generation and to a future free from barriers. Amber Rose, in her RNC speech, also emphasized the influence of motherhood on her perspective. Her words echoed a similar sense of responsibility and concern, focusing on her role as a mother who wants to protect and empower her children. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life, Rose shared. For her, the message centered on the importance of securing a bright future for her kids, mirroring Beyonce's call to create a world without limits for the next generation. While both speeches touch on themes of motherhood and the desire for a brighter, more inclusive future, fans have taken sides over whether the similarities are intentional or simply coincidental. Beyonce's supporters argue that her message is distinct and reflects a long-standing commitment to social change, often through the lens of motherhood and empowerment. For her part, Amber Rose has continued to assert her stance, initially stating on social media that Beyonce seemed to have taken her message. Her post, which read, she wanna be me so bad, literally took my whole speech, sparked a wave of debate and raised questions about whether Amber was joking or serious. To clarify, Amber later spoke with TMZ, explaining that her initial comment was meant as a joke. I was literally trolling, she said, laughing at the attention her words had attracted. According to Rose, she often jokes in this way with her friends and was simply caught off guard by how seriously people took her comment. I didn't think anyone would actually take it seriously, she admitted, stressing that her respect for Beyonce remains unchanged. However, the incident has continued to fuel conversations online, with some viewers debating the nature of influence and originality in public speeches, especially when two high-profile women address similar topics. Hip Hop Wired noted that both women's remarks come from a place of genuine concern and experience as mothers, with motherhood naturally leading to a shared focus on the future and the well-being of their children. Still, this small overlap in messaging became a point of intrigue further amplified by Amber's playful post. The reactions across social media have varied, with some fans finding humor in Amber's unexpected call-out, while others defended Beyonce, asserting that her words reflected her own deeply held beliefs and not a borrowed sentiment. As Amber's joke continued to gain traction, it sparked a broader conversation on social media about how public figures inspire each other, even unintentionally, especially on issues like parenthood and the desire to secure a better future for the next generation. In the end, Beyonce's speech at the Houston rally resonated with her fans, reinforcing her role as an influential voice for unity, empowerment, and change. While Amber's lighthearted comment may have brought unexpected attention to both women, the core messages they shared remain clear. As mothers, they are both deeply invested in building a world where their children can thrive without limits or restrictions. Beyonce's call for unity and Amber's emphasis on security and opportunity converge on the idea of creating a brighter future, underscoring the powerful role motherhood plays in shaping both of their public voices. Despite the brief online buzz, both women's messages stand as individual expressions of concern and hope for the future, showing that even with a playful controversy, their shared vision for a better world ultimately aligns, echoing sentiments that resonate with many of their fans and followers. Amber Rose's speech at the Republican National Convention stirred both curiosity and debate, as she brought an unexpected perspective, blending her role as a mother with her political convictions. Addressing a crowd with intensity and purpose, Rose emphasized that her primary concern was her children's future, an issue she believes transcends political divisions. Her message focused on shared values rather than partisan lines, appealing to parents across the political spectrum. That's something that unites all American parents, whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals. We all want a better country for our children, Rose stated, her voice reflecting the deep sense of responsibility she feels as a mother. Her words resonated, speaking to the common ground all parents share, the desire to protect their children and provide them with a world filled with opportunities and security. This approach, focusing on unity rather than division, gave Rose's message an air of inclusivity, inviting listeners to see past party lines and recognize the universal aspirations all parents have for their kids, 
Rose's speech took a more definitive turn when she asserted her stance on the upcoming election, expressing her belief that, in her view, there was a clear path towards securing a prosperous future for her children. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump, President of the United States. She continued, urging voters to consider Trump's vision as one she believed aligned with the values of security, opportunity, and a brighter future. Her endorsement of Trump came as a surprise to some, particularly given Rose's public persona, which often defies traditional political boundaries. By sharing her viewpoint, Rose made it clear that her political beliefs are deeply rooted in her role as a mother. She argued that Trump's policies, in her opinion, presented the most promising future for her children, and by extension, the next generation of American families. Rose's message, grounded in her maternal instincts, aimed to cut through the noise of partisanship and reach other parents who might also be weighing their votes based on what they feel will benefit their children most. Rose's speech sparked dialogue among both her fans and political commentators, with reactions ranging from support for her unifying stance to surprise at her choice of candidate. Her approach of framing the election around parenthood rather than politics touched a nerve, adding a personal layer to the political discourse. By focusing on shared values over partisan differences, Rose sought to appeal to the hearts of parents across the nation, asking them to reflect on the future they hope to leave for their kids. As the speech circulated across media platforms, it generated a ripple effect, with many parents discussing their own priorities and concerns in the context of the upcoming election. For Rose, the message was straightforward. Every parent, regardless of political affiliation, dreams of a safe, opportunity-filled world for their children. And for her, the best way to achieve that vision was to place her support behind Trump. In delivering the speech, Rose presented herself not merely as a celebrity endorsing a candidate, but as a mother compelled by a personal mission. Her passionate appeal, though rooted in her individual beliefs, struck at the universal desire of all parents to create a better world for their families, prompting Americans to think about the kind of future they want for the next generation. This sentiment of shared hope, expressed with conviction, stands as a powerful reminder of the common ground that unites parents across America, especially in times of political division. Amber Rose's speech at the Republican National Convention didn't just come across as another celebrity endorsement, it was a deeply personal message that sought to transcend typical party rhetoric. By focusing on motherhood and the shared dreams parents hold for their children, Rose took a unique approach, appealing to a universal experience that cuts across political boundaries. As she spoke, her words carried an earnestness that was difficult to ignore, and it was clear she was coming from a place of genuine conviction. She wasn't just endorsing a candidate, she was sharing her vision of what she believed would secure a hopeful future for her children, a belief that echoed the concerns of parents across the country. That's something that unites all American parents, whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals. We all want a better country for our children, Rose declared, making an impassioned case that, in her view, political affiliation should come second to the well-being and future of the next generation. The room was quiet as she continued, her words underscoring the importance of family values and community, elements that can be easily overshadowed in the polarized political climate. Rose's sentiment was simple but powerful. Every parent, regardless of their background or beliefs, desires to leave a legacy of stability, opportunity, and safety for their children. She emphasized that this goal should be a common thread, binding Americans together during a time of deep political division. Rose's speech drew on themes that resonated with parents who often find themselves stuck between parties, wondering how to vote in a way that will safeguard their family's future. She appealed to them to consider the broader picture, asking them to set aside the noise of politics and think about the kind of world they want to build for their children. It was a refreshing approach, one that didn't rely on talking points or political jargon, but instead came from the heart. The speech took on a bolder tone when she expressed her unequivocal support for Donald Trump, a statement that surprised some and pleased others. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump, President of the United States, Rose continued. Her endorsement wasn't merely aligned to fit in with the event's theme. It was a declaration rooted in her belief that Trump's policies could directly impact the future she envisions for her children. To Rose, Trump represented a pathway toward a country that prioritizes family, economic stability, and the safety of future generations. Her endorsement was met with mixed reactions, sparking a lively debate across social media 
and in news outlets. Some praised her for speaking her mind and bringing an emotional element to the political conversation. Others questioned her choice, wondering how her endorsement fit within her often progressive, outspoken image. But Rose's focus was clear. Her loyalty was to her children and their future. And she felt that her endorsement of Trump aligned with her values as a mother. She acknowledged the unique weight that parenthood adds to the political decision-making process, noting how being a mother had reshaped her priorities and motivated her to approach the election differently. Rose's speech quickly became a talking point, with people from both sides discussing the idea of parenthood as a unifying force. Her words resonated with parents who might also be feeling torn between party lines, seeking a candidate who best aligns with their vision for their children's future. Political analysts noted that Rose's speech was effective precisely because it stepped outside of the typical partisan framework. By framing her support for Trump around a desire to protect her children's future, she brought a relatable perspective that forced listeners to consider the election from a deeply personal lens. For many, her words brought to light the often overlooked struggles of parents who are balancing their personal values with the political choices they believe will benefit their children. Rose's endorsement became a rallying cry for those who feel that the discourse has lost sight of what truly matters. Her speech invited Americans to see beyond party labels and remember that, ultimately, the desire for a better world for their children is a priority they all share. The speech didn't end there. Rose took a moment to reflect on the bigger picture, urging the audience to think about what kind of country they want to build. We're all in this together as parents, as Americans, as people who care about the future. She said, her voice carrying an undeniable sense of urgency. She acknowledged that politics can be divisive, but her words called for unity in pursuing a vision of a brighter, more secure future. It was a reminder that, regardless of political beliefs, parents across the nation are bound by their love and commitment to their children. In many ways, Rose's speech highlighted the human side of politics, offering a momentary escape from the often contentious atmosphere of the campaign. She spoke of values that transcended party lines, protection, opportunity, and hope for future generations. In a world where politics can often feel disconnected from real lives, Rose's message was a grounded reminder of what's at stake and what binds people together. By focusing on these shared aspirations, Rose transformed her endorsement into something more than a political statement. It became a call to action, urging parents everywhere to take a stand for their children, to vote for what they believe will lead to a safer and more promising world.